Hi there everyone, Evangelite here again with another video from my previous Overwatch beta weekend experience. Looking at my friendly team, I noticed that we have a support and a tank in Mercy and Diva, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to play something a little bit more offensive this time, so I decided to pick Farah. Now, Farah's main weapon is a rocket launcher, which allows you to have really good AoE, and she's very high mobility. Her ability called Jump Jets thrusts you up into the air, so this way you can get like really high vantage points. Also, if you hold down the jump button, Farah has the ability to hover for a little bit. Her second ability is called Concussive Blast and is a knockback rocket. And her ulti is called Barrage, which launches a crap ton of missiles towards your reticle. So if you ever hear Justice Rains from Above from an enemy Farah, you might want to run. The map that we have today for your viewing pleasure is King's Row. Now King's Row is a hybrid map, so you have to I capture a point and then me. escort a payload to the goal. Looking at the friendly team roster here, I do notice that we have two mercies, but Post Ghost is nice enough to change something else so this way we have a more balanced team. It seems like the Junkrat on my team is very excited to get this started. And here we go. I decide to not rush out right away, but instead stay up high over here so I can give my team some cover fire while they try to get closer to the attacking point A. As my team moves in, I do uh, reload and get ready to back them up by moving in just a little bit closer. You can hear the beep beep on the map when someone is contesting the point which is a really helpful indicator that you should probably be backing up your team. So make sure when you play, you know, to listen for that beeping noise. Using Pharaoh's verticality, I try to force the enemy off the point so this way we can successfully capture it. My team was working really well together here because everyone's standing on the point enabling us to capture it very quickly which gives us just over 7 minutes to escort this to the first checkpoint. While my team goes after the enemies, I decide to stay back so I can get this payload started, because if no one from the friendly team is near it, it does not move. Mercy and D.Va come back to help me with this payload, and in result, scares off the enemy tracer. We push this payload around this corner with a fair enemy amount of ease now. as the enemy has backed off to regroup over around the other turn. But we do get caught off guard by the enemy tracer's ulti resulting in mine and Mercy's death, unfortunately. While Pulse Bomb has a small radius, it does detonate very fast. So it is sometimes difficult to get out of, especially if you're right in the center. Coming back, I do go up to this little window to get a quick view of my surroundings. As I fly or float down, I notice a rocket whiz past. I assumed it was from that window, but it wasn't. It was from the enemy pharaoh that was on that ledge off to the side there. As my team tries to push the payload, I do feel that the enemy Pharaoh was a little aggressive here trying to kill my teammates, which resulted in me killing her. Yeah! I do boost up into the air here so I can get a better shot at Tracer, but as I'm coming down and Mercy's healing me, I do notice that I'm getting attacked from somewhere. I do a donut and before I could get my bearings, I find that Bastion has killed me from around that little alleyway. I gotta give props to that Bastion though, because it really is hard to see him from where he is stationed. You can see off into the distance the little skulls of my poor teammates dying and respawning. Going around this corner, you can see that two of my teammates died in the exact same spot where I did. Getting back to the payload, I do go into a bit of an air fight with Farah, but as you can see, we both missed each other. So as we go back to the ground, I focus on trying to shoot at the enemy tracer. But as I go back around the corner, I get killed by enemy Farah's AoE damage. 
At the bottom center of my screen, that you will notice that there is a bright blue circle indicating that my ulti, Barrage, is now usable. As I fly back towards our payload, I am a little worried about going in directly, so I decide that I'm gonna go around the back. I believe the Roadhog just tried to hook me, but I ignore and fly over him because I don't want to go into a one-on-one -on -one ground battle with him. As I try to push back the enemy team, I do think that I used my barrage a little too early there trying to kill the tracer. In hindsight, I should have saved it to try to kill off uh, Tobjorn and his turret over there. But I still try to destroy the turret, but as I get damage, I do use the corner for cover while I poke my head out and shoot every now and then. I do see that bro shield from enemy Lucio, so I decided to back off a bit. I do notice that two of my teammates are up on the roof shooting at the enemy, so I decide to give them a hand. Unfortunately, the enemy team ganged up on me and I died. Looking at the replay, all I can say is, yep, that hurt. I will not fail again. Since our payload has had a bit of trouble getting around that corner, I decide to switch characters. After debating for a while, I decide to switch to Mei. The main reason I decide to pick this hero is because her ice wall ability is a great tool for breaking up the enemy's line of sight and for breaking up their team synergy. On my way back to the payload, I noticed that our Mercy is getting shot at by Roadhog, so I decided to try to freeze him, which I do successfully do, but he healed up and I ran out of ammo, so I did not get to kill him. Sad face! While ammo is unlimited in this game, you do have to reload when you run out of your clip. And sometimes that is the difference in getting a kill or not getting a kill. As I did get hooked by Roadhog, I immediately try to run away and block him from getting to me. <laughs> Noticing the area was clear, I do try to push the payload just a bit over here. And enemy tracer does try to kill me again, but since I'm made this time, all I had to do was ice block to protect myself. I do use ice wall here, blocking tracer from getting to us so we can focus on the enemy that is at our backs. While dodging enemy pharaoh's barrage, I do notice that my ulti comes up. I immediately throw my blizzard into the enemy team to CC them. I did die in the process, but my death was not in vain, however, because it allowed my teammates to advance and push the enemy back. One of the aspects that I really like about Overwatch is that the respawn timers are really fast. By the time you finish watching your kill cam, you're already back into the game. And this is important because it makes the pace of the game feels like it flows really nicely. Alright, getting back to the payload, you can see that I'm trying to use the payload as cover, which is really important because the payload doesn't have any help, so it's not like it's going to get blown up or destroyed. While on the other hand, I'm a little fragile. One of the downsides of using Mei is that she doesn't really have a lot of movement. As you can see, I can't jump high enough to get up on that ledge. As I saw a rocket whiz by, I did preemptively ice block to make sure I didn't die, just in case. And that rogue hog is doing a really great job of being annoying, shooting us from behind and then ducking back and then shooting us and ducking back. Going around the payload, I do put up an ice wall which I think was a little too far back. It should have been forward a little bit more, but I still go in to help my friendly team try to kill off these enemies. As I get injured, our friendly Mercy definitely has my back healing me right up. As I move forward a little bit, I do notice an enemy Bastion, so I use an ice wall to block his line of sight. As I'm taking damage from the enemy team, I do use Ice Block to regain all my health back. Now, coming out of Ice Block, I do notice that my Ice Wall is back up and so I block the enemy Bastion's line of sight again. <laughs> I'm getting shot at just a little too much and I do not back off quickly enough, which resulted in my untimely death. <laughs> Everyone is counting on me. Coming back to life, I try to get back to the payload as quickly as possible because we only have a minute and a half left for this game. Drop the 
while my ulti is still up, I do notice that the enemy team is a little distracted, so I risk getting in close to use my ulti, which in result slows them down, which makes them easy targets. Stop shooting fish in the barrel! I am a little too aggressive here. I did not notice that there's a Bastion to my left shooting at me, which does result in me dying, but the Friendly Mercy revives me, putting me back into the fight. Since I now know that the enemy Bastion is there, I do put up a wall to make his life a little harder, while slowing down Roadhog over here allows us to get the kill and push the payload in even further. We were so close to winning the game right here. But enemy Pharah uses Barrage, which is really great for them, but unfortunately not great for my team. With only 30 seconds left on the clock, I try to make it back to the point as fast as possible. That's barely any time left. With 10 seconds left, I decide to fucking go ham! I put up a wall to get myself closer, and I run in straight to the enemy, and ice block myself to buy my friendly team enough time to get back here, and hopefully, hopefully win the game. Since I am standing on the payload, it gives my team overtime. I do my best to stay alive and stall for as much time as I can so my team can come back and regroup and hopefully win the game. It really went down to the wire. As you can see, there's only one enemy left. We kill enemy Pharah and in it goes. Victory! Victory! And I don't know what my friendly mercy means by easy because you know what? That game was really close. And the play of the game goes to Post Ghost, our friendly Reaper. This shot is actually right there at the end when I was trying to hold the point for as long as possible. His ulti comes up, he goes in, does his death blossom, and kills off most of the enemy, resulting in us being able to hop on the payload. Since I switched heroes midway through the game, it isn't very likely I would be nominated at the four cards here at the end. But hey, I give my vote to the Friendly Mercy because she saved my bacon quite a few times there. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I had fun playing it. it the game was a lot of fun, and hey, you know, give me a thumbs up if you like these. And I'll see you guys around next time!